Hello, it's Ram. Animating anything in Godot is very simple. For example, to get the attention of the player to a button, like I did in Buzzy Field, when animals need to be fed, it is very simple to create this pulsating heart effect. This is a simple scene with a background and a texture button, but the same effect can also easily be done on a sprite. Add an animation player. It does not need to be a child of the button, just have it in your scene. Add an animation and give it a name. Add a property track to the animation, select a button, and select the scale. Set the animation length to 2 seconds. Insert a key at 0, 1, and 2 seconds. Set the value of the middle key to 1.1. Try it by hitting play. It kind of works, but hit animation looping to play it continuously. I am sure you see the problem though. The scaling is not calculated from the center of the sprite. To fix it, simply set the pivot offset to half the size of the button. Ah, uh, much better. You can even speed it up in the animation player settings. Now it's time to control the animation. I attached a script to the scene and created a variable for the button. Let's create a variable for the animation player as well. Connect the button press signal and toggle the animation player when the user clicks on the button. If the animation is already playing, stop it. And if it is not playing, start it. Let's see if it works. Good. Now we can also control other aspects of the animation like the playback speed. Add a slider control. Set the desired range and step. Connect its value change signal and control the playback speed of the animation player. Just like that. Alright, I hope you had a good time. The animation player is very powerful and can be used for much more advanced stuff, but don't be afraid to use it to just add a little bit of juice to your game. You can download the source code of this tutorial on GitHub with the link below. Have a good rest of your day.